So we're going to be going over um, chapter 4, PQ of 2014, and the very first question asks, in the first propagation step for the free radical chlorination of methane, which of the following occurs? So the first thing to recognize, first thing to ask yourself is what is the chlorination of methane reaction look like? And so if we draw that out here, that reaction involves a chlorine atom, which is really two chlorides, uh, and covalently bonded, a methane, and the products are hydrochloric acid and are chloromethane. And that is done through the presence of a blue photon or UV light and so the question here is asking in the first propagation step it's not asking in the first overall step and that's the thing we need to recognize here is that there's four steps to the chlorination of methane but the first step is an initiation step while the second step is the first propagation step so we'll go ahead and go over the first very very first step which is going to be our initiation step and that involves a chlorine atom which is two chlorides or a diatom sharing a covalent bond which makes both of these halogens these seventh electron it shares that seventh electron to create a two stable chloride atoms and so now that reacted with blue photon creates two chloride radicals and I'm going to represent the radical here with a blue electron and so you still got two chlorines on both ends but in one case on the left in our reactants it's a stable chlorine atom where in our products we have two unstable chloride radicals and so now we're going to take one of those just one of them is going to help us with our first propagation step and so that's step two of our overall reaction so first propagation step and so that one chloride radical reacts with a methane which is CH4 to create hydrochloric acid and now a carbon radical or in this case a methane radical so notice how we started with a radical on our reactants and we ended with a radical in our products unless we add a radical to interact with this other radical there's going to be a radical in our products. If we did add another radical, that's a termination step, and we'll talk about that as our last step of this overall reaction. So just to, we're gonna go ahead and just demonstrate this reaction, but with its model for the sake of our learning. And so that methane, I'm gonna represent here with the hydrogens, with the covalent bonds. And what'll happen is that that chlorine radical will take away the electron that belongs to the hydrogen and notice that I'm using fish hooks here rather than full arrows because that represents the movement of just one electron rather than a pair of electrons which is two so we've got that fish hook from the chlorine taking that one electron from the hydrogen and then one electron gets left behind to the carbon and that's what creates the carbon radical and so if we keep going we'll have the same products Now we've got our hydrochloric acid and our carbon radical or our methane radical. Alright, so that is the 
second overall step, but the first propagation step. There's two propagation steps in the overall reaction. And so this methane here is what is going to continue into that second propagation step because this hydrochloric acid is happy on its own. And so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, but we are gonna come back to it because I have it saved for you down here. So in our first propagation, in our first initiation step, we had the homolytic cleavage of the two chlorides. And our first propagation is where we formed our hydrochloric acid, and then we created our carbon radical. Now the second propagation step here, we've got our carbon radical interacts with a chlorine atom from the reactants that we originally started with and that will create that you can see the arrows here that radical grabs onto one chlorine and then one electron that's being shared gets left behind and that creates our chloromethane and our chlorine radical now so we've got our chloromethane so you might be asking yourself well we've got the react the product that we wanted why do we still have a chlorine radical this overall reaction is called a chain reaction and it's called a chain reaction because this chlorine radical will interact with a, let's say, another methane or uh, with something else, primarily that methane, uh, nothing else, in order to continue the reaction. So when that chlorine radical interacts with the methane, then that creates a, that creates a carbon radical. That carbon radical interacts with the chlorine atom that we had in our reactants and the cycle just keeps going and going because now you've got another chlorine radical in the end of that until we come to our final step which is our termination step here and so that termination step is important because once the reactants eventually begin to die down you're gonna start getting reactions like this where you have two radicals interacting with one another and forming just one product and that's why the it's called the termination step because there's no other radical to continue your reaction another reason that the termination might occur is that the chlorine radical that we receive here might rub up against the wall of the vessel that it's being reacted in and get stuck there and so it no longer has a place to go and the reaction begins to terminate but overall the reaction eventually has to stop so there's just another look at the overall reaction for your guys' notes. And let's go back up to our question. So in the first propagation step for free radical chlorination, which of the following occurs? Let's look at the answers. We've got homolytic cleavage of Cl2. Well, that's our initiation step. And we've got a chlorine radical reacts with the methane. That's the actual answer right there because we've got the chlorine radical that results from the initiation step reacts with our methane and that's what creates the carbo that was creates the carbon radical that reacts in the second propagation step. So we've re resolved our answer, but let's look at the others. We've got a carbon radical reacts with Cl2. Well that's just what we talked about as a second propagation step. You can see that here. A carbon radical reacts with Cl2, so that's our second propagation step. A carbon radical reacts with a chlorine radical, so that's actually a termination step because remember I told you that if you have a radical interact with another radical, so a carbon radical interact with another radical, then you're going to only get one product in the in the mechanism can no longer continue. So th that guy's happy like that. And then the final one, two chlorine radicals combined. Again, that's two radicals combining with one another. And that overall creates a one product and there's no other radical to continue the chain reaction. And so that's why B is the correct answer here.